The Mesopotamian region, located between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, is widely considered to be the cradle of civilization. It is here where the first civilizations emerged, with the ancient Mesopotamians making significant contributions to human progress, including the development of writing, mathematics, and law. In addition, ancient Mesopotamia is known for its rich artistic and architectural legacy. Mesopotamian art and architecture is a reflection of the society's values, beliefs, and traditions, and it evolved over a period of several thousand years, from the Sumerian period, ca. 4000 BCE, to the Assyrian period, ca. 600 BCE. This essay aims to explore the evolution of Mesopotamian art and architecture over time, highlighting the key features and characteristics of each period. Sumerian Art and Architecture The Sumerian period, which lasted from around 4000 BCE to 2000 BCE, saw the emergence of the first civilization in Mesopotamia. Sumerian art and architecture, therefore, set the foundation for all subsequent Mesopotamian cultures. The Sumerians are best known for their architectural achievements, including the invention of the arch and the dome. They built temples, palaces, and other monumental structures out of mud bricks, which they molded and dried in the sun. The walls of these structures were often decorated with intricate reliefs and carvings, depicting scenes from everyday life, as well as religious and mythological narratives. One of the most notable examples of Sumerian architecture is the ziggurat, a stepped pyramid-like structure that served as a platform for a temple. The most famous ziggurat is the one at Ur, dedicated to the moon god Nana. It was built around 2100 BCE and consisted of three levels, each of which was decorated with a frieze of bulls and dragons. In addition to their architectural achievements, the Sumerians also made significant contributions to the field of sculpture. They created life-size statues of their rulers and gods, using a technique called lost wax casting. One of the most famous Sumerian statues is the Victory Steel of Naram-Sin, which depicts the Akkadian king Naram-Sin in battle with his enemies. The steel was carved around 2250 BCE and is notable for its dynamic composition and the use of hierarchic scale, which emphasizes the king's superiority. Akkadian Art and Architecture The Akkadian period, which lasted from around 2350 BCE to 2100 BCE, saw the emergence of the first empire in Mesopotamia. The Akkadian king Sargon of Akkad conquered the Sumerian city-states and established a centralized government that extended over a vast territory. Akkadian art and architecture reflected the new political and social order established by the Akkadian Empire. Akkadian architects built massive palaces and temples, adorned with reliefs and sculptures that celebrated the power and glory of the king. One of the most famous examples of Akkadian architecture is the Palace of Sargon II at Dur Sharikin, built in the 8th century BCE. The palace consisted of a series of courtyards and halls, decorated with reliefs depicting the king and his courtiers engaging in various activities, such as hunting and feasting. The reliefs also depicted scenes of warfare, showcasing the king's military prowess. Akkadian artists also continued the tradition of creating life-size statues, but they added new elements to the Sumerian style. Akkadian statues were more naturalistic and showed greater attention to detail, particularly in the rendering of facial features and clothing. One of the most famous Akkadian statues is the head of an Akkadian ruler, also known as the Sargon Head, which was discovered at Nineveh in modern-day Iraq. The statue is believed to represent the Akkadian king Sargon himself, or possibly his grandson Naram-Sin. The statue is made of bronze and stands just over a foot tall. The king is depicted wearing a helmet with horns, which was a symbol of his divinity, and his facial features are highly detailed and realistic. Babylonian Art and Architecture The Babylonian period which lasted from around 2000 BCE to 1600 BCE, saw the rise of the Babylonian Empire under Hammurabi. Babylonian art and architecture built upon the achievements of the earlier civilizations, 
but also introduced new elements and techniques. One of the most notable architectural achievements of the Babylonians was the Ishtar Gate, which was built by King Nebuchadnezzar II in the 6th century BCE. The gate was part of a larger complex, which included a processional way and a palace. The gate was decorated with glazed brick reliefs, depicting dragons and lions, as well as the Babylonian goddess Ishtar. Babylonian artists also continued the tradition of creating reliefs and sculptures, but they added new elements to the earlier styles. Babylonian reliefs were highly detailed and ornate, with a focus on symmetry and balance. They often depicted religious and mythological scenes, as well as historical events, such as battles and conquests. One of the most famous Babylonian sculptures is the Code of Hammurabi, a steel that was created around 1750 BCE to commemorate Hammurabi's legal code. The steel depicts Hammurabi receiving the code from the god Shamash, and the text of the code is inscribed on the back of the steel. The relief on the front of the steel depicts Hammurabi standing before Shamash, with other figures representing various social classes and professions. Assyrian Art and Architecture The Assyrian period, which lasted from around 900 BCE to 600 BCE, saw the rise of the Assyrian Empire, which extended over a vast territory in Mesopotamia and beyond. Assyrian art and architecture reflected the power and wealth of the empire, and the artworks produced during this period are some of the most impressive in Mesopotamian history. Assyrian architects built massive palaces and fortresses, decorated with reliefs depicting scenes of warfare and conquest. One of the most famous Assyrian palaces is the Palace of Ashurnasirpal II at Nimrud, built in the 9th century BCE. The palace was adorned with reliefs depicting the king and his army in battle, as well as scenes of hunting and feasting. Assyrian artists also produced impressive sculptures, often depicting the king or gods in highly detailed and realistic form. One of the most famous Assyrian sculptures is the Lion Hunt Reliefs, which were discovered at the palace of Ashurbanipal II at Nineveh. The reliefs depict the king and his courtiers hunting lions, and the details of the lions and their surroundings are highly realistic and naturalistic. 